Oh, look at that. That's great. <laughs> now what? Not cool at all. All right, so a couple things. Uh, I noticed while I was editing <laughs> up to this point last night that I had forgot to cut the waste block in the center down. It was way too tall. And, <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm short on resin at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit more. Oh, and I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> do I mix up uh, just clear or a little bit of those? Those colors will be too too strong i think but i think <clears throat> i'm gonna get those mixed up off camera get that poured again and when we come back in we'll uh i don't know what we'll be doing <laughs> to be honest with you i should be turning this right now but it ain't happening today Okay, so I uh, got this all back together here. <clears throat> now, I haven't done one in a while, so I'm going to do the pine cone type shape, the little Asian looking building. Uh, I got a lot of a lot of response to the one of these that I've done on Instagram, and I didn't film it, and everybody wanted to know if I was going to film it, so I figured I'd, I'd film it. So, Chola Cactus, uh, I went with different colors because, well, I got yelled at for it. Can you use something different between green and blue? That came from the house. <laughs> So, red and uh, yellow, I believe, Tuscan yellow, and the, the red was just some one of the wish colors. Now, uh, I had some issues with the, uh, I'd done another one of these, it, and because it, it was so tight in the, in the cup, uh, it didn't get down and fill in the cracks in this china berry down here. Now, this is the pith from the china berry, so I wanted to make sure the cracks were filled, so I cut reliefs in it so that the resin would run down in there. Should turn those out, they're not very deep. I'm going to start off with... A traditional tool and probably get the carbide because it, it for what this is the carbide is just the tool for the job i seem to have better luck with this as i don't have negative rakes getting my cuts going because carbide on a brand new fresh cut and just to chip out so uh 100 is not going to work so 1250 uh she didn't look too bad but pretty much all i'm gonna do is level this out and then we'll go from there Okay, so well, it looks like I got most of it. A little, little bit there I missed, not a big deal. We'll get it out of there. And this was a repair that doesn't look like it's gonna, gonna go all so hot. But, hey, yeah, you know what? It is what it is. It doesn't look like it's stuck because it was down inside of it and it should have probably been scuffed up. But all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this in right here. This is gonna be my base and my round. Ah, all right, well, <laughs> clearly I need to sharpen a tool. I'll be right back. All right, so looking at this, I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, I'm going to hope that I turn out past this. This is the repair I went and fixed. I don't know. It's not sticking to it. Maybe I should have scuffed it up down in there, but it looks that looks bad, and hopefully I turn that out because I don't like it. That's what I get for trying. Here's one here or two. See it? So hopefully I can get most of that gone. I don't, I don't know. <laughs>
forgot to push record again. How about that? <clears throat> Alright, so anyways, I'm running backwards. And I'm hollowing this thing out. That was a good sound. That means I got more than enough room to play with. <laughs> oh, it's really close, but I think I can do it. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, almost went too much. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you, you know, uh, some dummy sanded too much off of this half. So in here is a bit too small for this. So in order for me to keep this on where I want it, I need to sand a little more right there. I, I screwed up and sanded too much off this half, so she's a little loose. Not bad, but not enough to stay there when I need it to. Because what I need to do is, what do you suppose matches here? Possibly. <laughs> but anywho, it's just too... So that stays on while I turn this off and straighten this up. And then I can give it a quick finish, pull it off, and then all I gotta do is worry about the goo on it from, from the electrical tape, because it does tend to leave an adhesive on there. So anyways, let me uh, get this stuff up here. And yeah, she's a little wobbly, but I think we'll, uh, we'll part her off right there. Put the parting tool, and then uh, I'll just kind of smooth her over around with a, with a carbide cutter, do some sanding, and we'll spray her with our final coats. You know, I'll giggle about my coping saw, but it, it works really well for this. Duh. Here we go. Now all I gotta do is turn this off with a carbide cutter. Is that gonna be where I want it? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it might just be, other than it's too close. Now I just hope that lid stays on. There ain't nothing holding it.
Almost broke it. What do you say? I don't think it broke. Maybe we'll do that in the slow mo. I'm not sure what it caught. It came off back there. I don't I don't see any bricks in it anywhere. It's just making some noise because of the top. Apparently I didn't put it in there tight enough. Thought I did. <laughs> uh, the issue is is when you start getting this as thin as I have it, you put too much pressure on the outgoing and it tends to uh, <laughs> not stay where you put it because you crack it. So I didn't put that much pressure on it because I didn't want to break it. That's just what I want to do is break it when I'm almost finished. Yeah, that's nice and that's not where it's going to go, is it? All right. See, this is stuff y'all don't see. Turn it a little bit. See where it sits. Uh, I think that looks the best. Ugh, tighten it down. Yeah, usually I spend, you know, 10 minutes or so trying to make it run that true. I got lucky that time. Find a spot it was when you turned it. Alright, so let's get caught right there. So at least it didn't break it. And I caught it with my foot, so we're good with that. Take your time, dummy. Take your time. I'll tell you what, folks, I think I can live with that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna live with it. Here to say. Don't push your luck, right? Ah, no, it's not great. We're gonna give it some sand and sealer. And I'm gonna order some more of that. Uh, did you burp? <laughs> you dummies. And that's all we're gonna do. And then I'll hit it with the steel wool and the scotch bright pad most of this has enough lacquer in it but I don't like like that right there oh that's where it hit the floor <laughs> um, well maybe I'll hit that also and then I'm gonna put the clear lacquer on it we'll let it dry we'll get it over to the to the sticker board and and talk about it where did it bounce on the floor right there just put some scuffs in the, in the lacquer. Hopefully we can hide that. Doesn't look bad other than that. I mean, the top never came off, mostly because it hit me in my foot. <laughs> all right uh, I did put a light in it because everybody's gonna go why don't you put a light in it well usually because I don't have one out here <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's kind of been a struggle uh, I, I did get it and and, and and I did this I know it's the same design as I always had but I did that one on Instagram and it it got a lot of response to hey I hope you're doing a video for it well no, I didn't. Sometimes turning that camera off is a good thing, you know, because it, it takes a lot of time to mess with the camera and get what you want done. Now, my, my top is a little loose. Uh, I'm going to sand it too much off, and it, it is what it is. And I need to put another finish on it and do some sanding. There's some, uh, I, I put it on a little too heavy. So I, get, I don't know if you can see them. You see the little bubbles right in here? I don't know if you can catch them in there. But I, I can feel those and they're periodically here and there. Oh, 
I dumped it on a little too heavy and then we got air bubbles in it. No big deal. I will spray it again. Um, <laughs> so there's my, my, my pole barn logo in the bottom. And, and that's what she looks like on the inside. Oh, I got to be on this side. So she kind of looks more like flames on the inside than it does on the outside. But the Chola cactus is still, it leaves neat patterns in it. And then, and then I kind of left them so they went through the top. I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to do this. So I do have another one in the process just in case because I left that um, waste block too tall. But I managed to get around it. So <laughs> I will have another one when I get it done. The, this will be in the FCD store along with that one whenever I finish it. There's currently a green and blue one in there also. The one you all want to know if I did a video on. So, you know, link for the Etsy store is down below. And there's also one. But I think it's over in this corner on the channel page. Up in the bottom of the picture, there's like the... Um, the link for Etsy, the, the link for where I was. The link for Etsy, the link for PayPal, um, the donation button or whatever. Uh, Facebook, and, and what? Are, oh, Instagram. Uh, they're up in the corner of the picture on that, that side or down in the bottom of the picture on my channel page and they're also in the description below I'm not quite sure how to get to it when you're on a phone because I don't use my phone for that so I'll get pictures up of this at the end and the, the Chola cactus is stabilized by the way <laughs> and so is the, this one's China Berry the other one that I have over there is Box Elder I believe but I will get pictures up at the end and give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down and we'll see you all next week. <laughs> yeah.